Hey, 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 hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to this Monday, 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 Monday. Hey, hey. It's another great Monday. What's happening? It's your boy, Ronnie D. Bell on the Pressing On Show. Guess what? Man, had another great weekend. Yes, I did. I had another great weekend. My weekend was on. Remember I told you that um, we was having a car show at the church? Not only that, uh, uh, we had a teen summit for the giveaway for the kids, and it was lit. When I say it was lit, it was off the chain lit. Yes, it was off the chain lit. And so my weekend started out great. Sunday morning, woke up with the church. Yes, indeed, a great weekend. Now, what a surprise. Guess who's on my side today? The wifey. Yes, indeed, the wifey is sitting here with me, and we come to talk about some good stuff and some great stuff and always some blessed stuff. Tune in. Make sure you go to RonnieDBellMinistry.com. Like I said, hit your comment, click your comment, and whatever is on there, we could talk about it next week. If you want to order the book, Married to My Teammate, it's on there. Yes, indeed, it's on there. You can get your copy of Married to My Teammate, and guess what? I'm going to sign that copy, Married to My Teammate. Yes, I will. And always, I'm always talking about the wifey, and so she's here with me today as my co-host. Not only the co-host, but we're gonna be in, we're gonna be talking about some good stuff, some blessed stuff. So, baby, how you doing? How you doing, sweetie? You I'm, good? I'm great. Great. This is very different for me. It's different. Absolutely. Um, when your formal living room turns into a studio, this is awesome. Hey, you know what I do? You know what I do? I got to do something <laughs> right to stay ahead of the game. Yes, indeed. So, uh, baby, tell me how was your weekend? Was your weekend good? Because I know we were separated for a minute. Now, Friday night, you got up there. You got the teaching and you got the talking to the kids. I'm like, oh, man, yes, yeah, she, she was on it. Friday too. was good. Friday, we had our youth summit at the church and we talked about resuscitating your dreams. So, um, I feel like Friday was great. It's all a blur. The weekend is always a blur. I had to look like, okay, we didn't do this again. So Friday was awesome. Um, Saturday, I did not get a chance to attend the car show with you, but I did attend a um, influencer's brunch by I'm So Kate, which is a new brand. Um, you all should support local brands. Um, I'm So Kate. You can find her over at Instagram. You can find her on Facebook and on her website. That was very good um, because it talked about one of my passions, which is blogging. So um, I found that to be very, um, a very, very, very good event um, to attend. So did you have a good time? Yes, I had a great time. Um, the fashion, the ladies were beautiful. Um, the fashion was great. I love good fashion and I love good networking. I don't like to go to events where everybody's kind of like sitting out in the corner and just you know, they came to take their Instagram pictures or whatever, but I like the true organic um, sense of being together and networking, and I found that that event uh, served its purpose in that. It was a really, really good event. Wow, wow, wow. Loving it, loving it. So, um, we here to talk. I'm, I want to, let's, let's talk. Uh, tell me something. Tell me something good. Um, how's MKK Bell? How's this going? Is it going good? Yes, so MKK Bell Consulting, um, for those who don't know, is a consulting firm. Um, we're double layered. Um, each year, we're going to be layering in uh, different components of our business. And our first component is um, career counseling, career coaching. And so we launched that on last year. That has been a great success. And then um, this year, latter part of last year, this year, we wrote in our corporate piece, which is for HR Consultant, and it has been going great. Um, entrepreneurship is a journey. It is different, and it is a, definitely a learning process. Ooh. Is it learning? <laughs> yeah. So, babe, how did you start out? Because a lot of people want to know, like, how did you start? Because I know people, some people be sitting here and then they hear me talk and they be wondering like, man, he always talking about his wife and why she, she's this. They must think that you like this, a superwoman. So tell me something. Tell me, is you, are you the 
awesome super woman. Like, how, how did MKK Bill come about? Tell me, you know. Well, MKK and I was trying to get on my live, and it's acting crazy for some reason, but um, MKK Bell Consulting came out, it was birthed out of a very painful place. Um, last year, um, after working for a company, giving my all, doing my due diligence, uh, without any notice at all, um, I was let go. And so, um, immediately I started to jump back into the job market um, because I know you know, I can find a job or whatever, started jumping back into the job market, and you, as my husband, said, okay, you've always wanted to own your own business, you've always wanted to pursue that dream, why not capitalize on this opportunity and go forth and do that, and so I kind of changed my plans, of course, I was looking to go into a full-time job, but then I said, okay, well, let me just try this out, and I did, and Stuff started coming together, and before I knew it, at the end of the year, we had a fourth location. Um, so everything started to fold itself in uh, appropriately, and it was all birthed from um, the idea that I had, but also you kind of pushing me to go ahead and do it. I'm such a good husband. That's all right. You're all right. Right. I'm sorry. Right. 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 You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right. I mean, <laughs> No, a lot of people don't don't know about HR and why HR. HR is a big part in business. A lot of people don't think that HR is a big part in business. They feel like you know those 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 people upstairs. And I, I'm starting to realize that you know even the company that I'm working for that those those guys are very important. So tell me tell tell, tell the people a little bit more about HR and why we do it. Why do you do HR so well and why is it so important? And they need to know about it. About it. So HR is fundamentally important. It is the foundation to each organization. If you don't have a strong, impactful HR department, it impacts your people your and your processes. So um, a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of new businesses don't understand the importance of having a strong HR team. Um, HR allows you to be able to engage your talent. It allows you to be able to find your talent and it allows you to have processes and procedures to ensure that you're compliant with the employees that you have there. So it's not just about um, firing people or anything to that extent. It's all about um, making sure you cultivate your audience and cultivate the people that you have there. And so one of the things that I like to do is kind of build out that persona or that stereotype because it's not always about firing somebody. It's all about engaging your employees so you don't have to get to that point um, where you have people who are there for years and years and years and that they're not complaining. So um, HR is fundamentally important if you are employing employees it's important that you start the process early on don't try to have um, the process start in your way or even afterwards because here's the other important thing about it. it's not just cool or a good thing to have hr it is um legally putting your organization at risk when you don't have certain things in place i've seen in rare cases where small employers have been fined in the excess of sixty thousand dollars because they are not compliant with what they do. And so um, the way you bring on and onboard your new employees, the way you hire your employees, the way you maintain your files, all of that is essentially important in the whole HR world. And so I get very excited about, about it. My passion for HR, HR is big. So MKK Bell Consulting, we're not your all HR corporate suite. Um, we do specialize in particular areas. Uh, we specialize in recruitment organizational development, strategy, um, and employee relations. So we're not benefits, we're not payroll, we don't do those types of things, but the areas that I mentioned are our specialty areas. Well, so, <laughs> what? What you laughing at? What's funny? Right? Your radio voice is, is quite humorous. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, hey. <laughs> I'm still your husband. So, I mean, and, and that's the thing. What happens to, um, to the person who started out doing like resumes and stuff like that? Do you still do that or you just have someone on your team doing that? Or is this? Yeah, so we have grown to the point to where we now have 
a career coach. Um, I also still, um, it can get extremely busy. We'll step in, of course, and check resumes, do marketing reviews, and things of that nature. But we also have a career coach that we have hired. She is great. And so we still do marketing reviews. Uh, we still do career coaching, fixing your resume, cover letter, thank you letter, all of that kind of stuff. Great, great. So you still can help people get jobs. Well, not so much as help them. Let me just get down to saying something. Because you have to realize in order for you to get the job, you got to have that actual resume. So you still can show people how to go and operate and get that job with the correct resume. Right. Well, we teach. So a lot of companies, what makes us different from other companies is you pay your career coach. And your career coach is probably very well versed in what they do. But they give you this information and you're not taught how to fish, per se. So that's why I'm not a big fan of writing people's resumes for them. We do have that service, but um, if anybody reaches out to me, I kind of talk them into um, a career coaching um, appointment because I want to teach you how to fish. Because if you can't get to us next time, I still need you to know how to be able to go and get that job. And so we like to teach lifelong skills. And so when you come to us, we're not just going to do your resume and give it back to you, but we're going to right. make sure that you have the tools and the resources you need to be able to have that information if you would ever need it again. Because a lot of people, um, their first or second job is not their retirement job, but the job that they're going to be in forever. So they're going to likely move to another organization or likely want to move up in that particular organization itself. So it's important to know how to do that. Could you just let the people know talking? Because some sometimes I want you to realize who what my wife does. And when I say we win it, when I'm talking about winning with my soulmate, you have to realize that we have um there's a lot of things that we're doing. We're juggling a lot of things and we're trying to juggle the family, the kids, and trying to juggle as being entrepreneur and plus keeping up the maintaining of our regular, you know, our regular life. Then also trying to maintain us together so and that's how we win with our, uh, that's how I'm winning with my soulmate and that's how the book came about oh babe also I want you to talk about I want to talk about my plus size diary because um, even though even though MKK Bell has came into play I think that one of the things that you were doing with my plus size diary and let me let the, let's let the people know because some people you know they feel like well I think you were talking about who are you saying that? Was that Tasha Cobb or somebody talking about the plus size girl? Oh, yeah, that was so, a video. I mean, talk about that. I mean, I want to hear about that. So, dear diary. <laughs> so, my plus size diary was birthed a few years ago, um, and it was another thing that kind of took off uh, really fast. Um, it was a micro blog of just journaling everyday life as a plus size woman. And I tell people, um, I'm not a plus size woman who had babies or had kids and became plus size. I've been plus size all my life. I was born 10 times so and a plus size baby. So there are a lot of struggles. There's discrimination. There's different um, perceptions about plus size women that I just wanted to uh, negate a little bit because growing up as a plus size child, teenager, and an adult, I can see some of the things that were said to me some of the looks, this, that, and the other. Even from moving up in a corporate standpoint, you know, if, you, if you're too big, they don't want you in their boiler room. So it's just like being, you know, African American. So it's one of the things that, you know, you have to kind of fight. And so I wanted to bring awareness to it. But the biggest thing is I had so many women who were so down on themselves because they did have that baby or they did get married and get and they didn't know how to dress their body. So they will be at the pool with, you know, 18 layers of clothes on or hot with 18 layers of clothes on or going on a date with their husband and not really knowing how to, like, jazz it up a little bit. So I started blogging because I am not uh, ashamed to wear different things. Uh, so and I wanted to give people options. And I consider myself a very conservative, classy 
woman, but you can be classy, you can be spiritual, you can be a Christian, and you can still be sexy all at the same time. So I wanted to show women different ways of how you can dress, how you can style your body to make sure, you know, you're all the way kind of put together from that sense. So that's kind of how my Plus Size Diary came about. Um, very excited about uh, relaunching that. Um, we have done some great things with my Plus Size Diary. We had our Ultimate Girlfriends Conference through the vein of my Plus Size Diary, which was a huge success. We are looking to have that again on um, next year. Uh, we're going to plan for that, but it brought women together and again discuss different body type um, options and things of that nature. So right. that's something that is also my baby, uh, other than you, of course. Uh, but um, <laughs> it's something that's all you know that's always on my mind. It's something that I'm always doing because you guys will be surprised the number of people who are, are in my inbox who text me, call me, hey, I'm going on vacation. I'm not excited about it. I don't know what to wear. So it gets me excited, like, girl, come on, let's, let's find you something. When you, when you get ready, and, you, and, and he step out that bathroom, he's going to be like, who, who am I with? You a whole different thing. Well, baby, you <laughs> always been like that, though. You know, because the, when, we, when we first, uh, when we first, before we announced it, when we first met in that middle school, she always been that girl that, that always dresses up. And me personally, I was like, man, whatever, it don't really matter. Everybody else is wanting Jordans and things like that. I was like, man, I don't know. I don't do Jordan, I don't do polo. I was too poor, poor anyway. Just give me anything. And so I don't know what she saw me. I was like, man, this is good. You didn't wear the duck head? Nah, I didn't wear the duck head. That wasn't polo. I mean, that was like a step below. But baby, I couldn't, I probably couldn't even afford I didn't know what duck head was. I didn't know what duck head was. I had a duck head outlet. I didn't know what that was until I was working, had to work security. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you always been one of them, them, them sexy type girls that always thought that she was just, I always thought she was bougie. Me personally, I thought she was bougie. But you don't think I'm, let's, let's poll the people. <laughs> let's poll, because I want to know. I want to know what y'all thinking. Because I don't want to give that vibe. And I think, you know, you, 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 you ain't the only person. Do I come across bougie? Okay. Like, you know, but no, but not, now, see, see, the grown Missy, see, the grown Missy, well, since the mayor, Missy and Ronnie, been, I mean, since Missy and Ronnie have been together over all these years, um, the vibe was, Missy was like, yeah, she had it all. The wife had K-Swiss, she had, she had all type of shoes. She had K-Swiss. She had K-Swiss. I, I think I, I met her, she was wearing some K, that's when K-Swiss was back, uh, back in the days, and um, she had it all, and I'm like, I didn't have it all, and even still to today, I'm not a big designer person. Even with me doing my style, it wasn't so much as the I'm not a designer. I have a few. Now I'm not gonna say I don't, but I do have a few designer items. But I like to mix and match. To me, it's more of a look, and not necessarily um, all designer wear. So it's not you don't have to have on all. Uh, Christian Louis Vuitton or Gucci or whatever, but if you can put a good look together from Rainbow, hey girl, you look cute. You know, it's all about putting your look together and a lot of people don't know how to do that. They don't because it's the same token. Some stuff in Rainbow, sis, put it back. Just put it back. So you're a fashion designer? You're gonna be a fashion designer or you just... No, I am not interested in designing. I'm in interested in impacting. Impacting. Yes. So I, that's why I have not opened um, like a styling company or anything like that. That is not an interest for me. I'm more interested in uh, impacting people when that mother or that wife hasn't, you know, worn something, you know, kind of semi clingy to her body and she looks at herself and she sees, oh man, I can wear this. This looks good. That makes me feel really, really good because I, I feel like you're impacting people and self-confidence and confidence is a huge thing. It can really put a damper on people's spirit and so that's why it's important to me. And see, the comments are coming in. No, I am not bougie. They say I am very confident. So, no, I'm not yes. bougie. Younger. Bougie. Younger. Bougie. Younger. 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 Bougie. <laughs> Now, I said when, but here's my thing. I'm saying when we was kids. Now since we've been married, now I can deal with you now, baby. I, I know how to 
Break it down a notch. We really here at this level. But since we since we've been married, you've been you've been chilling. You've been chilling. Now you know now you know how to work on a budget. You know how to work on a budget. And that's what that's the whole point. I think that's that's the thing that I think that some some people think that they have to buy in the high level. Yeah. By high level, just to become fashionable, and so mm-hmm. you know, especially, I, yeah. you, do you think that is, is that the issue with most, the most, most plus size people shouldn't have to, like you said, some people you should wear this and some you shouldn't wear. Uh, some plus I think you, you need to know and be confident in whatever you're comfortable in wearing, and then I think you need to dress your body the way. Hey, Nisi, we love you too. I think you need to dress your body the way you feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And then, regardless of your size, I think you need to know quality of material because I've gotten some great stuff from Rainbow that is not clean up in the washing machine. But I also, because I do like some trendy items, sometimes when I make that purchase that's very inexpensive, I know I'm going to get one or two wears out of it and I'm okay with that. But if I know I spend, I'm going to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on something, I'm going to want to wear that. That's, to me, what you call your capsule um, items that you put in your wardrobe. These are things that you're going to be able to wear and style multiple times, all across multiple levels. I have stuff in my closet that I've spent that amount of money on, but I've had it for years. And I can wear it with jeans, I can wear it with a skirt, I can tie it up, I can, you know, you can do different things with it so you get multiple wears out of it instead of just one. You can spend 20 and be, yes, you can spend $20 and be the best dressed and turn heads and people would never know. And one of the things I would say people need to be aware of more so nowadays is get comfortable with going online to shop. Because online shopping will save you money. We are so used to going into a brick and mortar store and picking out stuff, and I know that has to do with, you know, you being comfortable, you being able to try it on, you're not knowing if it's going to fit, but get you some measuring tape, look at your dimensions, look at the sizing chart, and once you get with a few companies and you get to know how they size their clothes, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, and you'll be able to say every, most of every online store always have some type of 20, 30, 40% off. So you are actually saving money shopping online. It is so thrilling to come home after a long day of work. Mm. And that brown, Jesus, hold on to That brown package is sitting on the so, floor. Uh, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> now, now, baby, look. Now, here's the problem. Here's the thing, too. Now, are you going to be donating some stuff? Now, that's what we want to know. Yes. Um, I have... When? <laughs> He's saying that because I, I kind of started taking on a portion of his Yeah, you in my closet. closet. That's what I'm like. Why are you in my closet? <laughs> on my side. But, yes. So, I have a ton of stuff that I want to give away. And I don't want to give it to Goodwill because I feel like they're going to get it and sell it. I want to, want to actually donate it. So that is something that I am looking to do. I have two to three bags of stuff that I definitely want to get rid of. Um, I want to give it to someone who is going to wear it because it is a um, it is a variety of different things. It may be a church dress. So, so my thing is, so let's do something to where we can push that issue. If y'all need some, like y'all plus size and y'all want to, you like to see what my wife dressed like. Hey, leave a comment, go to Ronnie D. Bell Ministry, type in there and say, hey, let's see what she have. We're going to put it on Instagram, whatever, and then we're going to bag it up and let's see. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe we could do like a, a giveaway a winning. Whoever come in and type in or, you know, come in something. You know, we want to give away some clothes. We want to do something, right? No? Police, you're ready to come in. <laughs> To give away stuff. So, but that's the thing. Everyone that I'm talking, I'm, everyone says, they look at my wife and they say, well, her dress herself. Uh, I think Sarah, that someone was talking about that. And I said, well, she get her clothes from Goodwill. And they were like, no, she does. I said, yeah, yeah, she do get her clothes from Goodwill. And they was like, well, she must be a bad dressing Goodwill <laughs> shopper. So I get, I, well, <laughs> I don't, well, I tried. I didn't really like it. I tried to do three things with Katie because my oldest is a Goodwill shopper. Like, she would rather go to Goodwill than go to the mall or online. So, I've tried that with her and I have. 
picked up a few items here and there from thrift stores, but it's not really my thing. It's not something that I've frowned out on, but it's just not something I enjoy. But, um, let me um, tell you, see, I, you, I ain't doing no thrifting because I've been poor all my life. Everything I get, it gotta be brand new, so I can't, uh uh, no. Whatever. No, whatever. So I'm but just saying, I'm not being blamed. We will do a, give, a giveaway so that I see your hand raised, Felicia. We're gonna, we're gonna get, <laughs> we're, we're going to get you. Uh, we, I am gonna do a giveaway, uh, but what I was saying is I have a diverse uh, closet, so it's anything from from church wear, <laughs> like literally. I don't even know what to say this. I counted my swimsuits. Um, I counted my swimsuits. We're gonna pay for another microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, kick me off the show. Um, I paid for a swim. I mean, I paid. I, um, I counted my swimsuits. I am in like 30 swimsuits. Uh, so I think I'm gonna chill out on that for a couple of months. Um, yeah. For a couple of months. But he, again, this is accumulation of swimsuits that I have had for years. It's not that I just bought 30 swimsuits. But it's accumulation and Christy you better not say anything because she's probably gonna say, Well you didn't buy 30 suits, but when we went to New York, we bought 20 dresses. So hey, you more dresses? When I find a bargain, okay, so when we were in New York, they had this store where if you are a business woman, I mean they had clothes, so it was like a random. It's like everything went together, you didn't have to think about it. It was really two business dresses. I've worn them on my different platforms and um, people have liked them a lot. And they were all cheap. They were all like $29.99, $20. So I know I don't go to New York every week or every month. So I was like, let me just, and they didn't ship, I don't think. So I was like, let me just get a bulk and make an investment. Let me just get a bulk of things career wear. Because you should have, and here's the thing, ladies, you should have your career closet. You should have your going out closet. You should have your, you should have different looks. Because the stuff that you wear to brunch or with your boot thing is not just because you put a blazer over it, it don't mean it should be worn at work. So that's why my closet is running running over and full because I have career clothes, I have vacation clothes, I have around the house clothes, I have church clothes. Wait, so wait, wait. you don't you do not have around the house clothes. Let's be honest. Well, this is some you so now we, babe. Okay, but anyway, around the house clothes. I have um, clothes that have retired out of circulation. <laughs> <laughs> so the old clothes go is the around, around the house clothes. Clothes that have retired outside of circulation. Those are the clothes that you have to give away. Those are maybe. around the house clothes. You have to give so those maybe away. Maybe it have been a few little swing dress. It's a moo moo. It's a moo moo. It's about okay. Whatever. Hey, you on the Ronnie B. Bell press? Uh, you on the Ronnie B. Uh, I'm sorry, she got me oh, mixed up. Do you on the Pressing On Show? <laughs> you on the Pressing On Show? And if you uh, if you like what you hear, please give us some hearts on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, hey y'all. Hey y'all. I'm I'm going to wait long. I'm never gonna be invited again. Never. She threw me out. Never. So go to Ronnie D. Bell Ministry. <laughs> go to Ronnie D. Bell Ministry .com. Make some comments on there. And then also remember, subscribe to YouTube at Ronnie D. Bell on YouTube because guess what? The video is going to be on there with me and my wife. I told y'all we're going to be, I'm bringing her on. We're going to be acting silly. We're going to be talking. You're going to, you get the real, Miss, the real Reverend and Sister Bell or First Lady Bell, you get the real us because we talk and that's what we do. How we acting now, that's what we do. Probably in bed. I tried to push her out the bed last night because she gonna snatch the cover and tell me, yo, I bought this cover. And I'm like, well, okay. Get out the bed. So the way the story went. Come on now. What happened? Something happened. And I wrapped myself in my cover, my all white cover. It's not your I all bought. white cover that you did not like. Well, bought. he didn't like it. So he was like, why are you buying this white cover? It's going to get dirty. And it has not yet gotten dirty. But it has. The cover keeps. The, no, it's not the cover. It's the, the sheet. sheet. It keeps sliding. No, your the anatomy of your linen. The anatomy of your linen is crucially important. You cannot call a bed cover a sheet. It was a sheet. 
It's a sheet. Okay. It keeps sliding off the bed, baby. Yeah. She bought the thing from, from uh, Ross. Was it Ross? It was Ross. It's beautiful. It's oh. a bag. Comforter. Um, I don't know the count, but it's nice. And he did something crazy, so I was wrapping myself in a cocoon on my side. And so he tried to push me off, but of course he couldn't. Um, well, he probably could have. I did but. get you out. Oh, I got you out one way. So, but so. Um, I sprayed him with Glade, like a whole bottle, a whole half a bottle of Glade. So then, when I got back in, I realized that the bed on my side was wet for me being even trying to spray him with Glade. And so I sat there in the sheer pain on it. Yes. So. My thing is this. The question of the night is how do you is winning with your soulmate? Winning with your soulmate. And a lot of you see us doing a lot. You know, she got MKK Bell going on and she got my plus size diary, which has always been there. And then plus I'm putting out books, I'm writing out books, I'm doing ministry, you mentioned and all that and all that in the midst of it, I gotta bring her in with me. Is operating with me in the in youth ministry because I cannot do it without my wife. Because let me tell you why I don't do it like without without my wife. One, it keeps me confident. And then two, it keeps me accountable. You know, it keeps me accountable because the, the let me say this: the enemy is always trying to attack in some kind of way. So I keep her on my side so the enemy know uh, we ain't going that way. And so that's why. We doing a we doing a lot. We asking like, how do you win? How are you winning with your soulmate, baby? How how are we winning as soulmates? Um, for you answer that because I want y'all to know what is she saying? Because she always. Christian go to jail. For what? She said we gonna get a lawyer first because I sprayed you with blame. Yeah, I'm itchy. I'm still itchy. I'm sorry. How so, are we winning? Well, as soulmates, because I want people to let, let's clear it up because um, the book is called Married to My Teammate. And I know you hear there a lot, but you never watch, you never look at the tagline. I never say the tagline. The tagline is basically winning with my soulmate. And so when we start talking about soulmates and looking at your soulmate, you know, you have to know the person that you're, you're, you're with. Is that person you're really your soulmate? And maybe that's the reason why you guys are not winning because that's not your soulmate. So now my thing is, like, how do you, I guess, win or how do we know that we were soulmates? I knew from the beginning that you were my soulmate. Um, people probably laugh and say, oh, girl, I'm just going to feel it. But I did. Even when we were dating, I always felt like, you know, no matter who else I dated or whatever, you always held a special place in my heart. But winning and knowing that you were my soulmate also came, I also came to a part when we were dating, which we dated when we were really young. But I had to come to the realization that in order for us to get to the point we are today, and in order for our relationship to flourish, I had to set some parameters around, you know, I couldn't just be crazy in love necessarily. Like, I had to love Missy, and I'm glad the Lord showed me how to do that early on, and it's still an everyday process. I had to learn me first before I could truly understand how to love you. Because if I don't love me first, then I'm going to allow you to do a whole bunch of stuff that is detrimental to me. So I feel like for me, I had to truly understand how to love myself. And with that, that came, um, there was a period of time when we were dating that, you know, I had to, you know, you know how you're dating, you pick up the phone and you don't dial all the numbers without a six instead of seven because you, you know, okay, I don't need to be calling, but you want to call. So it took some discipline, you know, to make sure that, you know, I understood who I was. And then I think from that standpoint, we have, the Lord let us go through different challenges um, together and knowing that you were, you know, always there and that you were a friend man and a man of God, I think that was very, very instrumental in it. The biggest part, I would say, here recently, you know, we were we have always been in love. Our kids were pretty much almost grown. But here recently, when um, I lost my job, 
it put me in a different, in a weird space, um, and it didn't, you probably didn't realize it, but it put me in a weird space because I had always grew up under the mentality of being raised by women who, you know, you gotta pretty much always have your own, always, 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 always have your own, and for me to relinquish all of that and say, I'm going to allow my husband in this season to take care of me was very hard. And it probably hurt your feelings. Hey, hey, it probably hurt your feelings in the process, but I wasn't trying to, or you probably didn't even notice, but at the same time, it was my own, my own, you know, oh my God, oh my God, I don't have a cushion, oh my God, oh my God, I gotta, you know, get myself together and even though I had savings this that the other none of that mattered I just knew for whatever reason I don't know if any women can relate to me I had always been programmed you know how you put some money under the bed because you never know when it's you know so it, I didn't know I was even operating like that until it was reality and I was like oh no I know no, I gotta find you know and I know with being an entrepreneur you don't have money every day you're not making you know when you're working for a job you know, every day you talk to you, whether you just go and stay on the computer all day, you don't get paid. You know, even if you take off, you got vacation, sick time. You don't have those same luxuries when you're working for yourself. So it was a very scary, scary, scary place. And to see that nothing was to be in our household, that it wasn't this, oh, you know, I'm taking care of fully of the household, this, that, and the other, and then now I'm going to start, um, talking crazy to you it was none of that and so that you know with the birth of the book and all of that I was like you know what this you know this is pretty this is pretty solid you know and not that I had any dogs before but sometimes we don't realize things until we're put in certain situations you can say all day it's gravy it's this it's that it's this and that but until you're put in place into that situation you don't really know how you're going to react so I think one that was probably a purpose for God for me to be able to kind of let those walls down but I think winning is you know communication I think it's dating we do a lot of dating yes even though we haven't been out of town anymore. you know but uh <laughs> <laughs> but um we do a lot of dating and we do a lot of fun things and um I think that's definitely what uh, keeps us alive and going and I like I say, you know, to women, I treat my husband, not to say that we're, we're dating, because I don't want y'all to tell me she said she was dating my husband, but when we do go out, it's like, you know, he was picking me up on Crane Street. I still feel like, that, even though we live not the same house, it's like, I want him to be, you know, proud. I want him to be nice, you know, so you got to spice it up. You got to spice it up. Okay, okay. Your own life. <laughs> I didn't feel some type of way. I, I mean, me personally, winning is, is what I'm, I do. You know, I've either been in a situation probably most of your life, you know, it seemed like you're losing. All you want to do is win. So, something like that, you know, by you losing your job, it really wasn't, you know, me personally, it's just me depending on God. I don't do nothing else but depending on God. There's nothing else moving because right now, in, in my life, nothing can really phase me or whatever is going on, whatever God is doing, I believe that God is doing something great. Right. So if he if he's changing, if he's making it with a situation like it's a losing situation, I just believe that God is going, he's beginning to do something where we're winning. Right. And so, you know, I don't, like I said, on, I think there are a couple other shows that you have, if, if I lose in one season, I don't take that for granted. I just learn from that and just believe that God is making us, is true, is putting us in a position to win and then win that is. And so you have to embrace the moment. You have to embrace the journey. You know, um, I, I feel like as us winning as soulmates, you know, like you say, I always knew you was my soulmate. Um, I always don't act like that. So, but my thing is, you know, the, the purpose of that, even if you soulmate, you still have to win. And I was reading in the book earlier, a lot of us don't want to win like our grandparents. You know, you know that's the thing. Do we want to win like our grandparents or we just going through a relationship, just going through a relationship, just to be going through it? You know. Well, our grandparents, I feel, set the tone. And I feel like nowadays, when what we hear on the radio, you know, what we see, 
relationship that I have with that group, even more. Um, I don't feel that women, you know, it's okay for us in, to each his own, but it's okay now that women date married men. And so, but just the union and the respect for marriage has totally gone out of the door. And I feel that we have forgotten the true meaning of what marriage is, what marriage is about. Right, right. And we're, we're, we've gotten so far away from that. And it's cute and it's glamorized on TV to have, you know, all of these different sex partners and to not be faithful and to be really in chaotic situations constantly. If you look at any TV show that's on VH1, any Housewives or Hollywood, hip hop, anything, those shows are purely entertainment shows, but what happens is those are shows for entertainment that are likely scripted. People take that, they digest that, and they start feeding it into their souls, and they become uh, immune to thinking that's normality, and or that's something they should be functioning in right. on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's not like your life. You should not want to live a chaotic, crazy life like that. You know, where you don't know if she don't pop up, and, and like that's just too much. That's way too much. And maybe I'm getting older because I am getting closer to the 40 year line. But I just, <laughs> I just think that's too much. It's just too much, and you only get one opportunity at this thing. And we get so distracted by other stuff to where we lose sight of what our purpose is, what we're made here to do, and to really enjoy this gift of life. And I don't want to enjoy my, my gift by always being put in situations to where it's always conflict. So I think that's the, that's the problem. I think that's the problem nowadays. And it takes two people to be committed to a relationship. It takes two people working and understanding that, just like I said, there are dysfunctional shows. There are also shows that where the husband and the wife are waking up and there's breakfast in bed and everybody's happy and, you know, that's not reality that's not all reality. the time. So you, you have to find an even balance within that. There are going to be days where you're like, oh, you know, there are going to be days where your kids are getting on your nerves, your kids have you distracted. There are going to be days where your house is a hot mess. You right. know, a yeah. hot mess. And it's because you have so many balls you're juggling in the air. And so that's not reality, but it's, you know, how do you come together? How do you know what's important? Um, how do you know what your plays are? You know, you talk about that in a book. And how do you practice to win? And a lot of times, I feel like couples don't understand that y'all really need to get the book. The book touched me. And, I mean, he wrote it. I didn't read it while he was writing it. When he wrote it, um, you're about to time on Instagram. Um, when he wrote it, so we'll try to get back on Instagram with the cut off. But when he wrote it um, and I read it, I'm like, yeah, you got to practice to win, right. even in your marriage. Right, and that's the thing I think a lot of people don't realize, because even in your marriage, but also as you um, are, are, are in place where you're dating, if you're dating someone, you shouldn't, that's the thing, I think that was one of the things that we've done as a young couple, that we learned how to, we learned how to date each other, and we, as a young couple, we learned how to date, and while we was dating, we was also practicing to win, because there's some things that she didn't allow me to do. It's some things that, you know, you've you been thinking, and that's why I said, like, you know, I might say, oh, she's kind of on the bougie side. You know, some other people, they let you do whatever. I know mean, some things, she's like, no, you're not doing that with me, or you can't do that with me. And I'm like, man, I'm like, whatever, where I get you from? But, you know, it's like, but that's the thing. You know, let me say this. When, 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 you, when you, brothers like that. Don't think that brother, if you gotta find a brother that feel that, like, that let you, let him, that, where you allow him to do what he wanna do, and do this and do that, then, you know, you don't want him. Some brothers don't want you to let him do what you wanna do, because he wanna be, he wanna be, you, you that, that, that 
it's not so much as being in control or keeping them in control. It's the fact that you're keeping him in order. So um, in the house, her, her assignment really is just to make sure that the house is maintaining. I'm maintaining and keeping things that, you know, some things I might not see is going on. You know, it's one thing for us to be driving down the highway and we're driving and there's a car coming our way. I might not see the car coming, but if she see it, that's a different story. You know, and that's the thing that we have to make sure that we stay in, that we we stay connected as soulmates. You know, um, what yeah. was that movie? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. Uh, last night we was watching. She was saying that she was saying that uh, her husband, whenever he speak, when he was speaking on it, they were thinking the same thing. And sometimes as soulmates, in order for you guys to win to the next level, or you guys connected well enough. To think the same thing, you know. To think and be on the same way path and to, even when you're not, to know and hear the other person. Because a lot of times when you're married and when you're in a relationship period, we, we respond just to have a rebuttal, but we don't respond to hear and listen to what the person is saying. That's it. That's sometimes I got that bad. We were standing in Papa's yesterday, and she got to telling me something, and I'm like, and sometimes I always know what she's about to say, and I think that's the hardest part about being, you know, us being soulmates, I already, I already know what she's about to say. He thought he knew what I was about to say, and I wouldn't be a star about it. Yeah, it, I wouldn't be a star, I just like to complete my own sentences, um, but that's just a little thing about me. But, um, yeah, he says it makes him feel safe and that you care. Yes, it does. It, it absolutely, um, it absolutely does. But, um, you have to practice to win. Um, it is work. It's not, um, a picket fence with white clothing every day. It is right. actually work, um, to get your things in order, your family in order with your marriage. Yes, indeed. Hey, again, I'll slow down. You're on the <laughs> Pressing On Show with Ronnie D. Bell. Yes, CB, Ronnie D. Bell. If you're live on Instagram, we're live on Instagram at Ronnie D. Bell and Facebook at Ronnie D. Bell and Michelin Bay. I need to get a charger, so I'm, I don't want to be hood on this show. Well, tell me. Oh, I got a charger right now. It's not going to fit. Katie Bell, please come to the oh, um, studio. See, we're live at home. Katie so. Bell, please come to the studio. <laughs> Katie Bell, please come to the studio. Katie Bell, please report to the studio. So we, Can you we, hand me my charger out of the van? <laughs> we're at home. This is what, this is what, I mean, it's live. I'm being honest with you. We're live and we, this is what we do. We play around. So, I mean, hey, here's the thing. I try to make my podcast not, you know, I want to make it real reality. I'm at home and you see all kinds of, you know, we got, you know, you see the background. I'm looking to get some background in the back with, you know, some uh, stands or whatnot, some nice looking stands. And, um, but this is podcast radio, but it's also, I like to be live. I want to talk and sometimes you might hear my dog walk by or, you know, it's, you know, some things here and there. I think it's a what's the name on the floor too. Um, so if you're on Instagram and if you're on Facebook, tune in. Ronnie D. Bell Ministry. Doc, Ronnie D. Bell. Now you can go to my website at RonnieDBell.com and also grab a book, Married to My Teammate. If you haven't got the book, Married to My Teammate, please do get that book, Married to My Teammate. Or you just want to get it on ebook so you'll have it while you're at work and um, while you're working or while you being able to you have that stuff and stuff. While you're able to read it on um, read it on your phone, you have to go to Book Patch and get it get it from Book Patch. And, it's um, a really good book. It is a really good book. I'm telling you, it's a really good book. And I'm, I mean, if you don't, if, here's the thing. If you haven't, if you don't know me and Michelin like that, and you might know Michelin, or you might know Missy, you know, that's, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a, um, a, a, K, K, a, a, K, uh, what is it, that's what we call you, Missy? Nickname. Your nickname. Nickname. But oh, if you, in the Missy. book, in the book is, in the book, we, um, I call her by her real name, which is Michelin. My, my thing is this, you know, uh, MK, um, okay, wait, Ronnie D. Bell on Facebook. If you know me on Facebook or you've been friending me, you know me, basically. But 
I would love for you to just connect with my wife, you know, if we are a, or we already connected. The thing about this, when you get the book, one thing you can know about the book, when you get the book, you will know, you're going to see some of our issues that we have to go through. You're going to see, I really let it out. It's not always easy. I really, not always easy. I really, I really let it out. I didn't try to, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to fake it, you know, put all these fake, fake stuff in there, like, you know, our marriage or just perfect or just to say, no, 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 no. I, I was, I'm bringing you through the bad times, which when we was but busted broke, and I bring you through the times that we had some hard times, hard trouble. I bring you through the times that you know, hey, I, the enemy stepped in and deal with you, try to mess around and none, you know. I bring you through a whole journey just to get you to this point, and so not only that, um, hopefully later, hopefully if I can get this book out there and going next time, I'm, I'm gonna bring you through another journey with another book. But you got to get this book to understand the second book. Yes, indeed. You got to get this book to understand the second book. So if you have not ordered the book, um, go to his website. You can go and purchase the book directly from the website. It will be shipped to your location that you indicated. If you have friends that are married, start investing in your friends. Give them the book. Y'all, you know, have a fun married night. Don't be boring. Y'all stop being, stop being boring. Make marriage fun. Make marriage fun. Um, get them the book. You know, study the book together. If you have a church group and they want to get the book, I know there's a lot of marriage ministry. You guys can read the book together. I'm telling you, um, I read the book. It's a quick, what I like about the book it is a quick read, and um, you can read it. In, I mean, if you depending on what type of reader you are, you can probably read it in one day. But for people who are busy, you could probably read it in about two weeks if you like reading maybe a chapter a day. Or you can read it in a month. But it's a really good book. And it's a, one of those books that you can read over and over again. And it's not like, oh, you know, you, and you read it and it's done. It's like, okay, let me go back to this chapter and let me remember what was said in this chapter because, you know, my husband and I, my wife and I, we're facing this challenge. And the cool thing that he did that I really like in his book is that he added space after each chapter so that not that you can just read the book, but that you can apply it to your own personal situation. So like the chapter Practice to Win, um, you can look at different areas in your in your marriage and say, okay, how can we practice to win? What are we not winning in? You know, what are some of the areas that we are not winning that we're lacking in at this point? And then you can apply it. If you try it, I promise you, you, you're going to appreciate the book, but you got to try. You got to stop being lazy. You know, anything worth having takes work, and you cannot be lazy. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, on that note, on that note, we are we are a very, very, very busy couple. Yes, we are. We are very, very busy couple. There's always something that we're doing. Always we are going, 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 going. What's that next day? Well, I tried to take a few photos yesterday, but, um, I don't know, we need to make that, maybe we can go for one Friday. Uh, no, because I got critical mass Friday. Critical mass. Oh, also, hey, if you on here, again, go to RonnieDBellMinistry.com. She came up with an idea. We want to do, like, a couple game night. A couple game night. Where, you know, if you have seen the Wild and I show, or uh, if you have some ideas, hey, let me know. We want to try to do like a couple game night. And that's going to be so much fun. Okay. So much fun. So I want to set it up. I want to I want to set it up. If you think that you you, you got great games, but I want to do it. I don't want to do like the store-bought games. I want to be like, if you have seen the show, Wild and I show, um, those are the games that they play on. I want to do something like that. Um, something Unique, funny, crazy. And let's see how funny. Let's see how couples react, you know. And then we could talk about it. We could talk about it, how how couples react, and then we could minister. We could help you guys, and let's try to help you guys get through those those uh, those places that are where you at. So the, I think a lot of time, what happens to a lot of couples, we don't see other couples winning. winning. You don't see other couples winning. You know, you go places, you see men. Men outside, the ladies inside. 
you, you guys gotta come together and, and let's see how other people agree. Are angry? Are they hard? Yeah, are they angry? Are they fussing? Are they mad about something? Like, you know, you gotta find it. All the time. Right, right. That's my thing. You gotta see other people winning, though. You know, I think one of the things that really helped us was because, and we probably didn't know no better, but we was, we, I was around a lot of older people that had been married. When we first got married, they, they, were, they probably been married for 60 and 70 years, and I think that really kind of helped us in that area. And so, but it also allowed us to see them winning. And it might have been bad some days, might not, you know, but we. You never knew that they was mad. You know, you never knew that they was probably going through some issues or whatnot. You saw them work it out. And a lot of times right. now, um, you don't see things worked out. And I don't necessarily say that everything can be worked out. So let's just say that. So every, some right. stuff may not be able to be, you know, mended back. But um, you need to see more of people kind of working issues out and things out. And then I think it's really, I will go back and say, I'll keep saying this, as women, we have to really be very um, conscientious of knowing what we will allow what we want. And then stand, it, stand it by it because you got to love you first. If you don't love you, I'm telling you, nobody else is going to respect you. Right. So you have to love yourself first. Loving yourself is the key to uh, having a great relationship because then you'll, you'll let somebody else know how to properly love you from that standpoint. So if you don't love yourself, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not me, but whoever will do just whatever they want to do. So. All right, all right. So, babe, tell them, I mean... Tell them where can they find MKK Bell at on social media, email, and some, all this that good stuff. Where they, where they can find MKK Bell at? Then also, where can they connect with you on um, at uh, the My Plus Size Diary? So, get a pen, get a paper, and I'm just showing you. So, we are um, on LinkedIn as MKK Bell Consulting and as Michelin Bell. We are on Instagram as MKK Bell Consulting. We are on Instagram as Missy Love HR, Fashion and HR. That's my personal like blog. Social media is like man, I'm still trying to maintain the one I got. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook under Missy Bell and under Michelin Bell. I have two Facebook accounts. What? You can also find me on Facebook. Under MKK Bell Consulting, and then you can go to yeah. I don't have a secret page for me. You can go to our web, my website at www.mkkbellconsulting.com. That's where you'll find. So MKK Consulting. I don't. I think I've started explaining it, but mine have gotten sidetracked. So it's two forms right now. The first form is career coaching which is MKK Bell Consulting, the bridge to your future. That's career coaching, okay? That's career coaching, career coaching, career coaching. Then you have MKK Bell Consulting, your HR professionals, and that's our HR side. And each year, we're going to fold in another arm into our business. So those are our two first arms. So when you go to our website, you'll see a career coaching portion, and then you'll see the HR portion in the header, mm -hmm. and you can click the tab in which you're looking to go to. Great. Now you got a lot of platforms. I'm like, I do. Busy, 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 busy. Yes, 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 yes. Um, very busy, but they're trying to be very impactful. Um, we won't have, um, last year I had so many events, oh my God, I had so many events, and the year before that I had so many events. This year, we are not having a lot of events because next year we want to bring you the best and so we want to bring our best we want to make sure our ultimate girlfriends weekend allows for so many people to make so many crucial um relationships and networking relationships to where it like knocked the socks off of me you know i had a vision for it but it was way bigger than what i had even imagined and so i want to do it again 
but I want to do it on a much, uh, kind of a larger scale to have even greater impact, make sure we have more women there. It was a great, great weekend. It was a weekend away with you and your girlfriends, because sometimes, I know we were talking about relationships earlier, we get away from relationships with, you know, um, our friends. friends. So right, that's right. very important, too, because you got to have, again, it's all about balance. You have to have some balance there, and sometimes if you're home, if you're entrepreneur, if you are busy, you don't get enough time to go and say, hey girl, let's go have brunch or let's just talk. You just, it's like a high and by thing. So that's being very intentional about spending some time with your girlfriend. And that is something we will plan for next year. So those are the platforms that we have. We are here to serve. Um, we have a great and awesome, awesome, awesome team. So thankful that my business has kind of gone beyond myself now and I can go and impact or we can go, I should say, and impact the world. Good yeah, for you, baby. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm very proud of you. You have, um, it's been what, one year now? It's been um, a year and a few months. year and a few months, okay. Well, very proud of you. And thank you for having me on your show. I hope I'm invited back. I kind of knocked some stuff over, I had to call <laughs> in the assistant. Um, the next time I have your people, get with my people. No, your people are still <laughs> on. All right, no, 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 <laughs> start that. We go. Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, I, keep I, my comment. I keep my comments. I keep my comments. I, I, I was joking with him earlier. I think you need to um, have your people call and tell me what questions we're going to go over. He was like, what? But I was just joking. I like to joke. And I think you have to joke. You have to have fun. We got to have fun. That's why yes. I prayed it was late back. Like, that was fun. Even though I didn't realize that it was going to make my side of the being wet, which was very, very uncomfortable. With you, because I was under the cover. But anyway, <laughs> so, uh, we want to thank the wife for being here on thank tonight. Yes, indeed. Remember, always go to RonnieDBellMinistry.com. Grab the book. Go Can to I Ron show them the book over here? Go to RonnieDBell. Ronnie D. Bell on YouTube and watch the videos and also I, don't let me forget SoundCloud always go to SoundCloud hit SoundCloud Ronnie D. Bell it's on there the conversation is on there if you just want to go back and just listen and talk and, and I may not have said something that you didn't like and maybe I have said something that you did like go back and listen on SoundCloud like I said uh, throughout the week on Ronnie D. Bell Facebook and Instagram, I always put the video up, and sometimes the video we it's a little bit polished because I have some extra stuff with my name scrolling across there. Uh, it's on there, and so uh, keep staying tuned. If you if you don't follow me, babe, if your friends don't follow me on Ronnie D Bell, make sure they follow me. Hey, if you don't follow Michelin, is it Michelin? Missy and it's Michelin. Missy. It's Missy. She got like two names. I just call her Babe. She got three, five, six names. That's my, my, my blue thing. I don't have to call her. Uh, I'm like, Babe. Uh, she got names for everything. So, Babe, what is it on Instagram and Facebook? My Instagram is Missy Love Fashion and HR and MKK Bell Consulting. LinkedIn is MKK Bell Consulting and Michelle Bell. Facebook is MKK Bell Consulting. Michelle Bell and Missy Bell. Okay, make sure you connect with the wife. Make sure you connect with the wife. Because like I said, always, when you're connecting with the wife, you will always, you'll always get to know us and you'll get to know us better. And if you're trying to know me a little better, I guarantee you, if you connect with the wife, yes, indeed, she going to tell you the real. Either she going to say, he ain't working into, he, he not getting it done today, or he might say something different. He <laughs> might say, I love it. So, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Pressing On Show. As always, Monday at 7 o'clock, I had a special guest over, and she had me going over three minutes, but that's okay, because that's my boo thing. Yes, indeed. Peace to next time.